Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ultimate Super People Guide Part 2. In the first part of this guide, we went over everything you needed to know before playing Super People. Now, in Part 2, we're going to be going over the personal supply, the items in the game, what kind of loot you're looking for, third person mode versus first person, an overview of the 12 classes, and then live in-game examples of how to drop out of the party plane and hop right into your first game. There's a lot to go over, so let's get going. First, we're going to go over the personal supply crate and the items in the game. In exchange for gold, you can open a personal supply crate that has a guaranteed weapon and some crafting supplies for your weapons or armor in it. You can also put up to five items of your choice into the personal supply crate. To change your default personal supply crate, click on personal supply in the menu and pick up to five items you'd like. The personal supply costs 100 gold to open and each additional item costs additional gold. I've chosen to buy three first aid kits, an emergency kit, and three speed energy bars as the three items in my default crate. Heals are always useful, and speed is always useful for my playstyle because I'm always rotating and moving. You can see the total cost of 175 gold on the bottom of the screen. You can put capsules, weapons you build in the armory, armor, helmets, and bags up to tier 4, and any gun attachment in the game into your crate. Now, we're going to go over the items and their uses. First, we're going to go over capsules. In Super People, there are five types of capsules. Green, blue, red, white, and gold. Green, blue, and red give one level and a perk of their designated color. White gives two levels and two random perks. Gold gives three levels and three random perks. Next, we're going to cover weapon attachments. There are compensators which reduce recoil for the gun that they're put on. There are three variants of compensators. Ones that fit on AR and DMRs as well as the 12k shotgun. There's one that fits on DMRs and SRs, sniper rifles. And there's one that fits only onto SMGs. There's magazines that increase the amount of ammo you can have in one magazine. And there are flash guards which reduce your muzzle flash. Magazines, flashcards, and silencers all have three variants, just like the compensators. Silencers reduce the noise your weapon makes when shooting, particularly at distance. Also, keep in mind that the Marine class can get up to 20% bonus damage and reduce recoil when using a silencer, unlike every other class. Vertical grips reduce the vertical recoil of a gun. Angled grips reduce horizontal recoil. Tactical stocks for an M4 are going to reduce recoil. The cheat pad is going to reduce recoil for the XA Sniper and the SKS. The cartridge belt is going to increase the reload speed of two shotguns, the W1887 and the R870, as well as the CAR-98 Sniper. The choke is going to reduce the spread of pellets shot by a shotgun. To wrap up the gun attachments, we're going to cover the sights as well as the scopes. First, there are sights which are non-magnified optics. There's the holographic which is shown on the screen and the red dot. Finally, there are scopes in the game. There's the 2 times, the 4 times, the 8 times, the 15 times, and the digital scope. All of the scopes except for the two times can be zoomed in and out with the middle mouse wheel. The digital scope is a 1x6 scope that automatically zeroes itself. Very, very cool stuff. Now everyone knows we're somewhere around here, right? Which is fine. But like, just so you know, like, we want to... <laughs> Now, the moment you've been waiting for. To see what the classes can kick ass with. Yeah! Let's go, baby!
Once matched, you will be assigned a random class and a random specialized weapon each game. For 100 gold, you can randomize your class once again and get one of the other 11 classes. For 500 gold, you can pick whichever class you'd like. In the tab menu, we can change our class, change our supply, and see our ultimate and all nine perks our class has, as well as see which specialized weapon we have next to your class name. Within the tab menu, you also see your inventory showing your inventory space, your crafting materials, your weapon slots, and your armor, helmet, and bag. Third person mode versus first person mode. Very simply, third person has the camera behind you, first person has the camera through your eyes. Third person mode allows you to see around corners without peeking. In first person mode, you can only see what's actually in front of your character. All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap up part 2A of the ultimate super people guide with Coach Blue. Part 2B is coming out very soon with live in-game examples of me dropping from the plane at various locations, some being very quick games and some being slower starts. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, please consider liking and subscribing below. It's free and helps a lot. Thank you for your time and be great.